Hey, Paul. It's been a little while since you and I have had an opportunity to chat. I'm really curious how business has been for Nextivity through this uh, unfolding pandemic situation. Yes, yeah, thanks, Sean. Yes, the last uh, several months have been challenging for everyone. Our engineering staff hasn't missed a beat. You know, we've never stopped. Everyone is hard at work. You know, we've all adjusted to this new reality here. So for the last few months, yes, very interesting times. We've seen drivers in our business that we've not expected. One of them has been a very strong work from home market for us. And we have a number of products that we offer that are just perfect from the work from home in the SMB context. You know, we've seen an order of magnitude uptick in our work from home category business as well as, as supported by our online retailers. Now, there's also the education at home. Obviously with students at home, it's made broadband at home very imperative and we've seen a surge for uh, reliable cellular coverage at home like never before and our partners they're deemed essential workers so they've been able to continue their part in the installation and servicing of customers bringing their reliable cellular context to the space where it's been more imperative than than ever at the beginning of the year, Nextivity launched the uh, CellFi Quattro 4000 product. Uh, I was hoping you could give us an update on what the market reception has been like. Yeah, right. Yeah, the market reception has been great. So let me, let me elaborate. CellFi by Nextivity has been a customer of the mobile network operator and, and mobile network operator product company we've been for a long time. You know, a lot of our products have been delivered to the carriers and ultimately designed for the carrier and for single carrier use. You know, they've been designed to be deployed by the carrier. So naturally for us in the enterprise and the B2B, B2B space, it was a challenge to support and service the BYOD customer with a single carrier product. You know, this has been accomplished though by, by installing multiple variants of the solution and the outcome was that they've worked just fine. But now, you know, the Quattro 4000 really solves this all together. It's a true multi-carrier product. It's very strong in the enterprise where four carriers are needed. You know, our B2B channel has been waiting for this product for three years, so the reception has been awesome. You know, the launch was very successful. By that time, everything was primed and ready to go. You know, it's been working out very well for us. And Sean, let me remind you that the Quattro 4000 is the only solution that boosts LTE in TDD. From my perspective, we're still in early days of, of consumer adoption, so enterprise come a little later, and obviously some complexities around band configuration and just the uh, the business case for bringing 5G indoor, but just how's Nextivity thinking about that uh, short term and long term? Yes, you know, so, so to simplify the short term and the long term in five, you know, from our 5G perspective, you know, we regard it as two phases. Again, this is an oversimplified... Um, Kind of response to your question. Now, the first phase in the go-to market is addressing the sub six gigahertz market. This is where the carriers are now. You know, their primary spectrum assets are focused here in the sub six gigahertz band, and their strategy is to refarm the three G and four G assets to five G assets in these bands. Now, now, as the carriers roll out, roll this out. Nextivity has been there in unison. You know, we have the capability to support five G in these bands. You know, for example, you know, AT&T just announced that they're refarming their band five, their 850 megahertz spectrum to 5G. So our Quattro, our Solo, our Go G32 solutions will support it with only a simple software upgrade push. And we're in good shape in the sub six gigahertz category. Now, now for the millimeter wave part of it, Sean, we think that's still a ways out too. You know, the things about Selfie is, you know, we're a network enhancer you know, an extension technology. We need a certain amount of penetration, pervasiveness in the, in the 5G coverage before we really start to add value. Now, if there's no network coverage, we're not helping at all. So you know, for us, in the millimeter wave context, particularly in the indoor enterprise space, you know, we too think it's a few years out. You know, again, particularly indoor. So now we're in the design and development phase on products that will support millimeter wave when that market is ready. 
All right. Earlier in our conversation, you touched briefly on uh, public safety. I understand that Nextivity is gearing up for a product launch in that area later this year. Maybe you can give us a little detail about what to expect. Yeah, sure, Sean. You know, public safety is interesting. You know, as a technology, it's evolving like, like everything else. But, you know, in public safety, for the past almost century now, it's almost been exclusively based on LMR. Know, land mobile radio style technology. Well, today you're starting to see the incorporation of lots of new features in public safety, including LTE cellular for FirstNet. So it's a great place for Nextivity and Cellfi to enter the market with our technology, which will include, you know, a class A and a class B solution. So it's scalable, just like our Quattra. We can deliver a public safety BDA solution and we can de deliver um, a public safety DAS solution. You know, we can deliver um, a fully comprehensive solution that delivers both a public safety solution and commercial LTE. Now, again, you know, what we can really do with the Quattro Red product is deliver LMR and LTE technology in a single, fully certified package. You know, we're making it as simple as possible. So when there's a given jurisdiction that's deploying some combo of cellular assets with their standard LMR assets, our products will fit in perfectly and simplify it for the installers to install and for the HJs to approve it. We are reinforcing ease of use. When it comes to public safety, we obviously have you know, a lot of applicable codes that have to be complied with uh, based on what the authority having jurisdiction has spelled out for the building owner. Mm -hmm. You said that the goal with uh, RED is, is ease of use. And I, I think that, to me at least, is really the key of seeing these solutions widely put into these buildings is, yeah. it's gotta be easy. The problem's not really the code, the problem's the complexity of complying with the code. So when you make it easy, you know, it's rapidly able to scale, right? Yes, yeah. You know, we've really made it really easy you know, using the same scalable architecture of our self Quattro. You can go as small as you want, or you can go as big as you want. You know, the reality is that here in the U.S. market, the carriers use, they used to fund these uh, projects up until about five years ago. Now, it was just too costly to put a system in. And at that time, there wasn't a clear path to an ROI by the enterprise. So you know, we've, we've helped turn that upside down. Now, we help deliver systems that have a clear line of sight path to cellular communication ROI. So that's the context that I'm, I'm referring to now. We're going to do the same now for the LMR public safety space. The existing systems from the incumbents out there today, you know, they work just fine, but they're costly and they require a high acumen to install. Now, they require, require highly trained RF engineers and, you know, sim simply put it, they require um, things be done right and that they're ensured that things are, are done just perfectly. Now, this is what we can do. You know, our mantra with Selfie is that we make installation easy foolproof and, and we deliver the high performance along with it. There will be a lot of confidence after installing our product in this category. And it will be instrumental for us to drive the adoption and this is the mission that we can get behind of in public safety. I appreciate you taking the time to give us an update on how uh, Quattro 4000 is being used and uh, I'm looking forward to this product launch and maybe touching base later in the year to talk more about public safety. Yeah, great Sean. I look forward to seeing you too. Thank you. Thank you.